obviously we have social media. Um, how can law firms best use their social media channels during this time? Um, yeah, I, for me, I'm, I'm not sure much has changed, in, but except for the fact that um, it, you have to be reflective of what's going on in your content. So again, if, if uh, you're putting out over your social media channels uh, on a day when we've had massive social unrest, uh, something that is, um, you know, overly congratulatory, fluffy humor, that kind of thing. So one of the first things we did was tell clients, check your automated social media. So, you know, that was one of the first thing because we, a lot of us, you know, plan out our social media posts in advance, you know, you've got it loaded in there, um, ready to go. And the worst case scenario would be, you know, um, a, a LinkedIn post or something that goes up that, that doesn't feel right for that moment. So check that. Um, and then, I mean, we were kind of regularly when a lot of the, um, a lot of the protests, things were happening. Um, we were sort of regularly reviewing and going back to the drawing board on what we had already planned for that week um, and thinking through, um, is this, does, you know, is this the right tone? Is this the right message? So um, there's that, you know, LinkedIn is a really like, it's a one-on-one -on -one tool. So um, people don't engage so much with, with firms or brands on LinkedIn. They, they engage with uh, professionals. So individuals on LinkedIn. So that's a really important thing that um, I think law firms need to understand and they really have to do some training with their lawyers on how they can use LinkedIn as a business development tool themselves rather than sort of oh relying on the firm to, to post something. Um, because if they want to build relationships, they have to spend the time on the on the platform um, themselves. So 